Hi everyone, it's Bruns here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing The Iron Oath. This is the prologue chapter and I am so very excited to be playing this. It's a highly anticipated game. It's obviously turn-based because that's pretty much all I play. And I can't wait to check it out. So let's dive right into it. New campaign. Company name. Ooh. Company name. Do I have to... Um... Let's call it um, the oops, the rolling the dice rollers. <laughs> Your title, sir, sure, flag sigil. Okay, we got some customizations. Cool. I've seen a wolf here. Let's do this. A la um, Game of Thrones. The White Wolf. Black background. Um, sure. Okay. What a few <laughs> colors to choose. Um, let's go. Let's see. Let's go with this. Keep opening prologue mission. No. Iron Man. No. Let's <laughs> not go with an Iron Man. I'm just going to leave it as it is, I think. Encounter challenges meant for veteran tactical RPG players. Adventure. Life for people who want to explore and take in the world at their own pace. Mmm, let's leave, so, advent, custom, adventurer, I'll take this as the easier version, obviously, and this maybe is normal, or it could be hard mode, let's, let's just, let's just go with it. In an era all but forgotten, the gods have once lived alongside humanity in the heart of Kalem. However, an unknown cataclysmic event plunged the world into a dark age. History was lost to time, and so too were the gods. In their absence, a rebuilding humanity was left to contend with the emergency of a great being of darkness from the void. Every few decades, in an event called the Scourge, the dragon's arrival would bring death and disease to the land. Those afflicted by the dragon's blight would lose their minds and bodies as they slowly became abominations of flesh and outcast of society known as the Blighted. Wow, I love the music. Despite centuries of efforts from the Vanguard Order and the realm's greatest heroes, no lasting victory against the dragon could be achieved. Humanity was now, has now come to accept the inevitability of this courage as part of life. Enduring, or in some cases thriving despite it, with whispers of an impeding scourge circulating, you and your company find yourselves in a burial crypt not far from the city of Andilan. A simple retrieval of smuggled supplies, or at least that's what your employer has promised. Okay. Oh. Look at that pixel art. Yurik. Damn grave robbers. Stay sharp. No doubt his companions will have heard that. Everyone stands still, tensions rising as they grip their weapons tight and scan the room for further hostilities. Hostiles. You hear a muffled shout from someone in an adjacent corridor, likely directed toward their now deceased associate. The sound of quickening footsteps soon follows, and three figures burst through a doorway at the far side of the room. So let's just take all this in a little bit. We are on we are in Andalon Crypt. Find the stash contraband. Eurek must survive, so this guy must live. Nice portraits. Wow. I'll, I'll, yeah, that's really good. And Dina, shit. Should I go and alert the others? Eric shakes his head, eyes fixed on the enemy. No time for that. We've got no choice but to fight. Let's go. Okay, so survey the battlefield by using WASD. You can also pan by holding mouse button 3 and moving the mouse. Yeah. 
So confirm. Mind that archer and find yourself some cover markers. On their turn, each character can move as many hexes as their movement move stat allows. You can move onto any green hex and still perform an action afterwards. To cover more ground, you can sprint to the gray, any gray hex, but doing so will end their turn. Pretty standard. Finally, you can swap places with an ally by moving onto their location. This can be useful for setting up attacks or removing the ally from harm's way. Okay. Move the storm caller into cover by clicking the left mouse button on the indicated hex. So, Marcus. Here's some cover, I guess. Delaying or ending your turn. If you don't have a desirable move or an action to perform, you can delay a character's turn until they end until the end of the round by hitting the wait button on the hotbar. Alternatively, you can end your character's turn by using the guard action on the hotbar. Doing so will increase the defense and evasion until the next round. Click wait button to delay the storm caller's turn. So Okay. You can end the by using guard action the hot bar. Increase the fence, fine. So this is the wait button. Guard, flee, use item, undo movement and move. Here is abilities, so okay, so let's wait. Abilities. Class abilities have a certain amount of charges available during the course of a mission, indicated by the blue numbers on the hotbar. More potent abilities will have fewer uses available, so plan wisely. It's got 6332. With the enemy advancing on us, we can set a trap by using the Arrow Lancer's Return to Cinder ability on the indicated hex. So. That Yurik then, yeah, this is Yurik. It's a Paralancer. We're gonna use this. Return to Cinder. The Paralancer marks a vacant cell in any enemy. If any enemy comes in contact with the mark, they will trigger a fury eruption that damages and displaces them. Okay, so let's click this and throw it here. And it took some damage. Oh, nice. So he was pushed back. As you can see, it's important to pay attention to any traps and terrain hazards when positioning your units. To gain more information on a trap or terrain type, you can mouse over the hex in question. Some abilities are able to push or pull targets, which can present certain opportunities for both you and the enemy. By forcing targets into obstacles and terrain, you can inflict bonus damage and other harmful effects. Move the pugilist into position and use his crescent wave ability to push the enemy into the pit. Ah, that's a pit. So let's move here. The Pugilist delivers a powerful spinning kick to any three connected targets around him, damaging and knocking them back. Okay. So, I wanted to know what does that, those icons mean? Instant. Okay, anyway. So, let's do this. So. He hit the pits, but didn't fall. It looked like he was supposed to fall in the pits, but he didn't. I'm not sure. Um, and Dina Wilterfell. So we're supposed to move her here. Every character on the battlefield exerts a zone of control on hexes adjacent to their position. Now that your guardian has engaged the enemy, they are no longer able to reach your storm caller without being subject to an attack of opportunity. Okay, that's pretty standard as well. This goes both ways, and the guardian cannot leave the enemy zone without suffering the same. There are some exceptions to the rule, such as the use of abilities that incorporate movement or when the would-be attacker is suffering from any debilitating status effects like stun. Fine. Conserve your stamina and keep him busy. 
Though basic attacks generally deal less damage than abilities, there is no limit to their usage. It is wise to conserve some of your unique abilities for later. Perform your basic attack on the enemy by clicking left mouse button. Okay, so click this. What is this? Deal 147 holy damage. Looks pretty strong to me. They have 400 health. That's a lot. You have a clear view of the archer. Take him down. Line of sight. Most attacks and abilities are subject to a line of sight check. When a character has no vision of an enemy, they are unable to target them. Large ob obstacles such as pillars can block line of sight. Smaller obstacles such as barrel will partially block. Target is partially visible, will receive sweeps and less time. Fine. Stormcaller has taken position directly behind a smaller obstacle because he's adjacent to it. He is, is able to look over the obstacle and gain full vision of the enemy archer while remaining only partially visible in return. The Stormcaller's conduit ability can devastate a single enemy from range but takes a few turns to channel, select the ability to and target the enemy archer. So this will take one turn to deliver, target a single enemy. Okay, has a cost of two. What's that four in the middle on the rank here? I'm quite sure yet. This massive lightning damage. So we're gonna use that on the archer. <laughs> nice. Positional awareness. With the nearest enemy stunned, the Paralancer can safely move past their zone of control without an attacker of opportunity. Yes. So, supposed to move here. Been bashed. Whoa. Very good. Um. So this strike an enemy for 157 crushing damage. He's only got 50, so we can do this and kill him. Spirit. Your pugilist was killed, has killed an enemy and gained spirit. Spirit is displayed underneath each character, character's portrait and represents the overall mood and attitude towards the current mission. It also plays a role in determining your character's post-mission fatigue. During combat, spirit is gained through feats such as killing an enemy or winning a fight. It can be lost through adverse triggers as well, such as when an enemy lands a critical strike or in an extreme case of a party member dying. Flanking the enemy. Targets are considered flanked whenever you occupy two opposing hexes around their location. Doing so will increase the damage they take from all attacks. With the Paralyze already in position, we can move the Guardian into a flanking position and attack the enemy with extra damage. Okay, so we go behind him and then attack him for extra damage. 132, it didn't look extra. Um, so we can just attack this guy, he's gonna die like that. I love this guy. <laughs> the lightning bolt guy. What's his name? What is it? Um, his class. So we got what? A small, small spirit potion. Restore 10 spirit. Restore 200 health. So E loot all. Eric sheets his weapon, gazing around the room to make sure all are unharmed. Eric, everyone alright then? Dagon looks down to assess their condition, somewhat surprised at their apparent luck. Not a scratch, it seems. And Dinev dressed her as some blood at Yurik's arm. Never mind us, you certainly look better. Yurik glances down his injury and scoffs. What, this? He wipes the blood and making a smeary mess of it. Nothing time won't heal. I'll be fine. You turn, a familiar, you turn as a familiar voice rings out distantly behind you through the words are unclear. Is that you, Van? Van dashes into the room and stops, kneeling over to catch his breath. He looks up with a relieved smile. Glad to see you're still with us. Uh... Glad to see you still with us. We heard the fighting. Figured you could handle it. But I didn't want to take any chances. He shows up up to one of the lifeless bodies and leans over it for a closer look. Eyes narrowing. Grave robbers, eh? Can't say I'm surprised. Folks are getting desperate with this carriage looming and all. So he will give us a little um, tip on what 
What's, what's the scourges? Indeed, and the others. Van points back in the direction it came from. Tori and the rest are still searching. Surely there are better places to stash black market goods, but I suppose the smugglers didn't have much of a choice. At least we're getting paid well to retreat them. We've been in worse situations. Aye, that we have, boss. I was just hoping my last job would be free of surprises. Last job? You're leaving the company? He's been reminding us for weeks now, haven't you heard? Retirement would excite you too if you were my age. Not many of us make it this far. He goes face dark for a brief moment, remembering his friend, the friends you've all lost. He shakes it off, a point stump towards Andina and the other's new recruits. But how did they do anyway? They had on the stamps, well, all things considered. We'll make soldiers out of them yet. All right now, there's plenty of time to talk later. It's going to take a while to scout this place, even with the others' help. As the trusted advisor, Ar Alaric. That comes in. Right, I better get back to Tori and the rest before they find themselves lost. Watch your backs. There may be more of those thieves in here, or worse yet. Believe me, I'm taking no chances. Dungeon exploration in time. Most actions you take while exploring a dungeon will cost time. The passage of time can have various consequences and is represented by the time meter in the bottom right. We should begin exploring. Use left mouse button to move the party to adjacent tile. Okay. Scout. We can move, we can scout up to two tiles ahead, revealing any events, traps, and hidden secrets will be revealed if a perception check is passed. Cost one time per map, max cost of three. We've got 12 units of time. This is. So this is 12 turns, I guess. We're on turn number two. And we can camp as well. Let's just move then. That's what he's telling us to do. Scouting can, can be used for in order to spot enemies, traps, and other surprises that may await you. It does cost extra time, however, so it should be used sparingly. Let's click right mouse button to scout. Okay, and we've, there's a treasure here. Uh, can we go straight here? When interacting with an exploration event, you often have multiple choices available to you, sometimes costing various amounts of time. Your characters will have their own opinion on the choices you make, which can affect the overall loyalty to the company. Some actions require a stats check, and the character with the highest relevant attribute will be chosen for the task. The character in question will give you feedback to help you gauge their chance or gauge the chance of success. If you have any tools with you, you can be cons they can be consumed to boost the chance of successful. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. You spot a discarded pack up ahead, likely dropped in haste by the grave robbers when you alerted them. Don't expect to find much of value, but it's not like they'll be coming back to claim it. No sense in leaving it for another to find. Take whatever looks useful. It might belong to someone else. We should leave it behind. Take it. And Dina, she likes it. Small health potion, bandage, and toes. Marcus didn't like that. Come on, Marcus. Can we can we heal this guy? All character gear comes with a durability rating. With enough use, gear it will eventually break and turn into scrap. If an item loses all durability while on a mission, it will not break until the mission is complete. Okay, that's good. Your abilities, port, wow, a lot of stuff. Uh, who's got you, Marcus and Dina? Who's got those potions? Can I not use it? Okay. Let's go. Here, we're on 9 out of 12 already. Using provisions during exploration. Provisions can be used both in and out of combat. While exploring, you can access your provisions inventory in the bottom left menu. Ah, by pressing I. Provisions used during exploration have their own associated time costs. So we should use a potion on Eric. There we go. Is it... Click here and click here. Okay. Tools, bandages. 
for a small amount of health. Okay. Dawn. Single target heal for 260. Hmm. Okay. Oh, battle. During the deployment phase, you are able to reposition your party ahead of combat. Click left mouse button on any character to move them and click again on any valid hex to confirm the new position. Once you're satisfied with the formation, click the start combat button to proceed. Ooh, okay. So we've got some law enforcers, we've got an archer, and we've got someone that looks like he's got range. Mmm... Oh my god, I, I already love this game. Let's put you here. Let's put you here. And... This is as far as you, I can position them, so that's fine. Let's leave it like that. Round one. So what do we got? The Pugilist delivers a powerful spinning kick to any connected targets around him. That's the same one we used before, I think. Target self for a single ally and cleanse negative conditions. Range of one. Okay. You can swap places with her. With him. I can move here and I can attack her. Um, let's do that. She's got 500 health. The Pugilist strikes an adjacent opponent, warps behind them and quickly delivers a second strike with a palm that knocks the target into the previous occupied cell. Crippling force. It costs 4, is that what it is? I can use it 4 times, I think that's what it is. Target 2 cells in a row. First must be empty, second occupied, dashing forward and striking their target. Okay. Um let's use it let's do this one. Oh nice. Uh oh. Mild heart attack. <laughs> God, that doesn't sound good. Okay, injuries. There are a variety of injuries that your characters can sustain in combat, each with their own penalties. By using a bandage on an injury location, you can stabilize, stabilize all current injuries. If you continue fighting with an unstabilized injury, severity can increase. Okay. Um, so what I should do? Single target damage, range of two, cleansing light. And tell me how much is the damage. Single target heal, range of two. Channel for four turns, deploy a damage shield on self and target, range of two. Which is a bit of a paladin or something. Uh, let's move her here. Damage and blind an adjacent enemy for one round. Mmm, range of two. Single target heal. Maybe we should heal this guy. Got what? Half health already almost. Um Deploy a damage shield on self and target. Channel for four turns. It will take three turns for it to be Dropped, is that what it is? Hmm. So let's... Can we hear... Is it selected? I think it is, because it's flashing. So let's... Heal this guy. Oh, the pixel art is really excellent. Um, stab a single adjacent enemy, inflicts burn, or add stacks if it already applied. Target three cells in a row and summons a fire and summons a fire in the one nearest him. The fire spreads for the next every three turns, last five turns. 
paralyze and marks a vacant cell. If any enemy comes in contact, oh, that's the one we used before, is a trap. Deals 100% and 75% fire damage to two targets in a row. Okay. And 209 fire damage. Well. Plus attack by 25%. Let's use this on her. Yeah, she's almost dead now. We could just do this probably. Uh, six percent damage at a range of five. Yeah, let's just do this and should be. So fifty percent because she's behind cover. So let's move you. Let's move the character to here, and then we'll attack her. Oh, dodged! Damn it! Right, we're gonna spin kick these guys. I guess self class negative conditions. It says in a row. Yeah, let's do this one. Like that. She's burning. Oh god. Bruised sternum. You know, I need to. You can remove negative conditions by cleansing abilities or by using an antidote from the hot bar. You know, I have to... Yeah, I'll tell you what I have to do. I have to bandage this guy, I think. Out of range. Oh! What did I do? I, I used the right mouse click? You've noticed that the traps here seem to be more sophisticated than most. Best remind everyone to be careful. Traps deal double damage. As you explore the application of various time modifiers will present new challenges for you to overcome. With each time modifier applied, your fire will slowly become unnerved and suffer small loss of spirit. Due to these factors, it's important to be efficient and spend your time wisely. You can see which modifiers are currently active next to the time meter in the bottom right. Hold on a second. She used the bandage. Okay, damn it. So, can we do this? Alright, let's take her out. Come on. You are kidding me! This guy again. Um. Target two cells in a row. First must be empty. Um, put his tracks on adjacent opponent, marks behind him, and quickly deliver a strike. So, I'm gonna go here. Ah, of course, attack of opportunity. So let's do this, and he's gonna move into my... Oh, right, he didn't anyway. Oh god. Yurik. Will you die? Hopefully not. So let's single target heal. Single damage on blind. We're gonna heal have to heal this guy, I think. Yurik. Hmm. Or we could just kill this woman. Now you, Yurik. Um, that's in a row. Hmm. Let's see. The fire spells to the next cell every turn. Vegas. Uh, okay, let's move here. And let's maybe put this here. And if he moves there, then he will get it. Target a single enemy in channel for five turns. A little devastator electricity. A ball of lightning that hits the primary target and arcs all adjacent targets or for lesser damage. Target a single seven restore spirit over the next three turns. Cleanse and give immunity to burning. 
Apply wet status, which grants fire resistance for three rounds. They're trying to send any direction, summon a cyclone. Let's do this one on this guy, I think. He's got more health. Let's do it on him, yeah. Let's see the traps falling down. Um, so let's do this whirlwind kick again. Full draw. What's that? Oh, and he took that. Nice. Um, let's bring her here. And... Words as a play damage should on self and target. Bingo heal. Let's heal Dagon. Okay, he's over. And now let's see if we can kill this guy. He's got 88. Yeah, we can kill him, I think. Oh, we can't move there. But let's put him to cover. And. I think that's fine. Wait, we'll guard, we'll guard. Oh, look at that. So... I guess self a single ally and cleanse negative conditions. Just for testing, let me see this. Let's cleanse her, maybe? Okay. She still got the injury, so it, it doesn't work like that. There's other types of conditions, I guess. But she can... Single damage. Is that gonna be more than her sword damage? You'll be dead now. Okay, we got bandage. That's all. So let's apply a bandage on Eric. Uh, click, click, and let's heal him because he, he must survive. I think the other ones maybe can die. Um, so is it the white bit spirit? Is that what it is? Okay. I've used some stuff and then the time has gone by. Um, this is gonna go that way, so let's move here. Oh, you signal a halt as a faint distant rumbling becomes audible, steadily growing louder and closer with each passing moment. You look up, noticing cracks forming in the ceilings as smoke rocks break off and fall to the floor around you. It's a cave in, we need to move. Breaking into stride, behind the rest of your party, you steal a glance back to the corridor collapse, collapsing, a cascade of falling stone. You cross the threshold into another chamber, dive into the ground as the path behind is quickly closed off by the crumbling structure. A cloud of dirt and dust obscures your vision, but the rumbling and crashing comes to a halt as the last few pieces of debris can be heard tumbling into position. Everyone okay? What the hell was that? An earthquake? Might have been, or those grave robbers trying to force their way into some place they shouldn't. He inspects the cave in passage, lightly kicking at some rubble on the ground. Regardless, we'll have to find another way out. What of the others and the supplies we're supposed to locate? Van and them were on the other side of the crypt. I suspect they're fine, or at least I hope. I purchased to find them. Hopefully they already retrieved supplies. Let's go. Okay. Uh, so what does this mean? This, oh, this is the rubble, I think. Can we go here? We can't go. Yeah, this is the rubble. Yeah, fine. So let's scout. Okay. This doesn't seem to be much. Oh. Lost time. The journey seems to have clouded your sense of time. You can't say for certain how long you've been here. One less unit of time required for each revolution on the time meter. 
Uh, I'm not sure what that means. Parts blocked by a pile of rubble. Eric steps forward, climbs on top of the gouge. To gauge the severity of the blockage. It's not so bad, I can see a clear path ahead. Move the rubble by hand. It will take four time. Blast a hole with magic. This could prove risky. Hand Eureka shovel. Let's use a shovel. With a firming nod, Eureka grasps the shovel and begins to dig, soon clearing a path just wide enough for everyone to fit through. And we get through sliding down a pile and back into the solid ground. You see a flickering light of a torch being cast into the room for a connecting hole, illuminating more of the sur your surroundings that is near. As it nears. But easy now, it's just me. I thought this whole damn place was going to come down on top of us. It might yet. The whole section is caved in, but we need to find a new way out of here once we're done. I figured as much. Torin and the others are already set to find one. I take it you haven't found supplies yet? Unfortunately not. Let's hope they're not buried in stone. Let's regroup. And secure an exit. Sure thing, boss. He quickly scans the surrounds and leans in close, his expression turning deadly serious. There's something else. All the commotion has disturbed the dead within these walls. We've already put down a few of those bastards. And you best stay alert, but you best alert for more. Undead? Do you suspect the work of a necromancer? I reckon those rumors of an imminent scourge are indeed true. Unnatural occurrences are all too common on the eve of it, in my experience. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Uh, okay, so now it's 12 before... I guess every revolution something like this will happen. We'll have a modifier, is that what it is? Uh, okay, combat. Ooh. So this is ranged. It's not ranged. What the hell is this? Raise reason go. Got some cover here, I think. There's a pit. So can we? This is as far as we can go. So let's bring them to us, maybe. Is this cover? I'm not sure it is. Um, I'm not sure like, like this maybe. Okay, let's walk here. And, and cleanse negative conditions. Find them. Okay, I don't think we'll be able to do anything. Let's just guard. Hmm. Oh. All right. Just taking some beating. Ooh. Okay. Um. Deploy a damage shield on self and target. So we do this radiance. It will take it will take a while. Uh, Inferno pillar. Do adjacent target. Five damage to two targets in a row. Let's target three cells in a row and summon the fire in the one nearest him. Hmm. Stab a single adjacent enemy, inflicts burn or add stacks if it already has applied. There we go. Oh, dead. Your oath has been severed, and with it, the end of your time as the leader of the dice rollers. Press and you can continue. Wow. Brutal. Really, really brutal. Let's... Can we continue? What happens if we continue? Okay. So... 
is before or crumbles, I guess. We've seen all this. It is what it is. The battle. Okay, so very randomized actually. Um, yeah, feeling with structures is the same. Are the same enemies, but they're different positions now. Anyway, I'm just gonna put you guys kind of in a similar position. Not too precious. You go here. Let's start combat. Go here, and let's do a whirlwind kick. Okay. They really do a lot of damage. Um, maybe that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> it's her turn now. And we're gonna single target heal. And now let's go with him, Auric. And let's just try and push it a bit more, maybe be a bit more aggressive. And he's burning now, so he'll be taking some damage per turn. Apply spider terrain to tile. Or stun and or cry critical wet targets. Hmm, okay, you know I didn't use this before. Maybe we should use this now. So is any lightning attack will make this guy um take critical damage. Target two cells in a row, first must be empty. Cleanse negative conditions. So you could just attack the ghoul. Because he ain't burning anymore. Okay. Resisted. Okay, attacks of opportunity. Nice. Is he wet? He's not wet anymore, right? No. Okay. Um. Let's. I don't know if we should deploy a shield. Let's deploy a shield. You will go for a full-on attack on this guy. It doesn't do much. And you will ball of lightning that hits the targets. Hmm. Cyclone. Let's just attack him, I guess. On 32. And let's attack him. Um, let's use this part crippling force. Move it into the middle. Now they shielded. It, it's looking better than before. I don't want to hit that coffin because that's where that skeleton came last time. And I'm going to try and get out of the way now. Or... I don't think I can kill it. Mm. Let's see. Okay, so he... I didn't receive the attack of opportunity now. And you can get out of the way as well. Now let's attack this guy, and he's dead. 
So you will... Um... Target 2,000 in a row, first must be empty, second occupied, dashing forward and striking their target. If I move here, is, am, I gonna, am I gonna strike this guy or is it... Let's just try. Ah. Understood. <laughs> okay. Kind of cool. Okay, great. We need to kill this skeleton now. Move here and attack him. Wow. That was so different from before. Eh? What do we get? Demon's blood. Not sure what that does. Take it all. And I guess this is the exit. Erica runs their hand along a wall of interred, interred dead, reading descriptions on each nameplate before moving on to the next. He stops at one, peering closer and double checking the name before turning with relief in his voice. This is the one we were told to look for, boss. About time. Let's hope the contents are still intact. Reaching with both arms into the dark recess, Eric firm, firmly grabs a hold on, of a coffin. It's all here, no damage to the vials from what I can tell. What does our employer want with them anyway? Alaric interjects. This here is a cure for the blight, or at least it slows the process. The vanguard keeps it tightly controlled though, only treating those who pledge themselves into the order. A fair offer in my view. Of course, not everyone wants to spend the rest of their days fighting evil for the safety of the realm. Safety of the realm. That's where the black market comes in, on which these vows will fetch a high price, and it's why your employer is paying us so well. So who's the vanguard? An ancient order that is tasked with defending the mortal realm against all unnatural evils. Okay. As for group of van. So... I think we need to heal. You take this. You good. You good. Okay. Find the exit. Let's look for the exit. What's another modifier? Misplaced provisions. You're not sure when or how it happened, but you seem to have misplaced a few items from your pack. So, the further we go along the dungeon, the harder this gets. More modifiers we get. We lost one tools. Okay, so we lost our tools. Uh, let's scout. And we had nothing there. Ooh. That looks like a boss. You hear a sudden movement in the darkness ahead, the sound of bones rattling and scrapping along the stone floor. Bright green eyes turn towards you and the undead be being lets out a bone chilling screech as he shuffles toward you. Or towards you. It's such, it's such a great game. I'm really, I'm really loving this. So, Risen General, and they're anguished. Okay. It wasn't too bad last time, so... Let's see what we can do this time. Hmm... And I really have used so much of my powers already. Let's start the combat. The reason general first. <gasps> Damn. Do you hug cells in a row? First must be. Hmm. So let's just do this for now. Ugh. It's playing cool. Dodged. Nice. I think we need to deploy a shield. Or maybe I should heal. Let's heal. 
so cool. I love it. Mm. Mm, okay, so let's do... I'll tell you what. Let's do this. And that. If he steps in here, he'll be pushed back. You are going to move here and we're gonna make rain on this guy okay he stayed there so I'm gonna strike him next time um, cleanse negative conditions okay so I don't have any negative conditions I think I'm just gonna attack this Angished. Oh, it didn't take much. Oh, damn. Whew. Let's shield ourselves. And you. Three cells in the summons. A fire. I think let's just make you burn. Now you will attack him. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> God is so unforgiving. Okay, so. Let's do this and that. So, he's kind of flanked, I guess. Okay. He's protected. And he is protected. Nice. So, it's your turn now. We can just attack you to get rid of you. And you, come on. He's wet. Okay, that's more like it. Fractured. So. Hmm. What can we do here? Shall we... Uh, guard, wait. Not good that she's down. Maybe... Downed. Unable to put, lose one blade up point. If you lose all blade up points, the card is permanently dead. So what can I do here, really? Can I use this on her? Out of range. Okay, I can. But just need to get close. Okay. Like that. Okay. Ah, this game is vicious, really. Um, I am going to attack this guy. Just because I don't want him to come back. And you... We're gonna have to attack this guy here. That's fine. He dodged. Damn it. Why did he take damage? Well, he took damage because the trap fell on him. Fine, but why did he attack this monster? Didn't quite get that. Ah, uh, sprained ankle. Jesus Christ. She is a mess. Um. We have nothing else. They're kind of dying. 
undo last movement if possible. Cannot be used if you have triggered any hazards, so taking damage, okay. Mm. Clans negative, con negative conditions. Range of one. Um, let's move here and attack this guy. I'm not sure. Maybe like this? Is this do more damage? No. Oh, maybe it did. Oh, damn. Um... Okay, just attack him, I guess. Are you gonna blow now? You're not giving me a chance at all. <laughs> so brutal. Huh? Mm. Okay, so let's go here, I guess, and attack this general. And you attack this general as well. Stunned. And the other one's dead. Burning. Okay, now you. No. What a waste. Can I do this? No. Fine. Kill him. Now you're gonna kill him? Ah. Oh. It's so silly, really. Only Unique will live. So, move here. And attack him. Yeah, you, you're gonna die, my friend, I'm afraid. Yeah. Okay. But all and totally alone. You're not sure, so I lost some more stuff. Um looking terrible really. Okay, let's keep going, and this is a... Your party comes to a standstill as muffled shouts and ringing still reverberates down the corridor towards you. Eric unsheets his lance, motioning the rest of you forward as it breaks into stride, barreling toward the sound of battle. That must be the others, hurry. What? Alright, here's the rest of the... Company. Ah, he's totally alone. The party can, that must be a, with the last of the undead dealt with. Van hails you across the chamber with a flick of his hand, a relieved smile. Did you find it then? The exit's just beyond here. Been trying to keep it clear for the dead, of the dead, but they just keep coming. I see not everyone made it. A damn shame, that is. A pile of bones near Torin's feet suddenly begins to rattle, and the eyes of Discovery ignite in the bright green as unseen forces attempt to reassemble the skeleton. Took you all long enough. Van here was getting all worked up and thinking the worst. The crypt groans, and once more, the ground beneath you shaking, even ever so slightly. I don't expect this structure will hold out much longer, sir. We'd best not linger. Good advice, I reckon. Injury, recovery, and infirmaries. One or more of your characters have sustained an injury during your most recent expedition and will require time off to heal. You can speed up their recovery by placing them in a city's infirmary for a cost. If an injury is severe enough, the character must be treated in the infirmary in order to recover, otherwise they risk permanent damage or death. Okay, continue. Got 500 coins. Loot found, demon's blood. I'm not sure what that does. 
provisions refund uh, gear breakdown do I need to do anything here? no okay 95% explored probably missed something as the last light of day begins to fade, you spot your company's camp not far ahead, the flickering flames of bonfires dancing against the darkening sky above the horizon. The rest of the company has already begun celebrating, it seems, as boisterous shouting and laughter can be heard cutting through the crisp evening air. Looks like they are eager to start they were eager to start celebrating a retirement, huh? Seems so, doesn't it? Strolling into camp, the other members of your company take note of your arrival, turning to rise their cups and letting out a few whooping cheers as you pass them by. A crowd forms around Van, all chanting his name and reaching out to pat him on the back. Now you all know I'm not for lengthy speeches, but I'd just like to say that it's been an honor to fight alongside each of you over the years. I dare say that I even consider some of you among my friends. He grins, met by a chorus of laughs and cheers. It hasn't been an easy road, but I've been a fortunate man. Not everyone gets out of mercenary life. You raise your cup, it's toast, in a toast. Here, here. Crowd responds with a burst of applause and cheers. Raising their drinks and sending a shower of ale through the air. Your gaze is met by Van as he points his cup towards you. The celebration continues in your absence. You brush aside the flap to your tent and settle inside, discarding your weaponry and tossing it near your bedroll. You turn to find Alaric, Alaric in your presence. Hope I'm not disturbing you, sir. I was on my way to pay the horse a visit and prepare us for tomorrow's travel. It's probably best if we store these vials in one of our carriages. Well then, I best take care of this. He nods respectfully and turns, pushing aside the tent flap with an outstretched arm and briskly walking out into the night. You turn your attention to your desk his surface covered with disorganized papers and maps, illuminated by the faint glow of a candle. Pulling a stool, you sit down and begin to pour over one of the maps, charting out tomorrow's course. After some time, celebrations, you step outside of your tent in the cool evening air. Von approaches your side, mounts atop a horse, spine smile on his face, a tired of sadness in his eyes. Is this time then? Aye. He leans down and passes the side of the horse, got my saddles loaded up, figured I'd sneak out without making a big fuss. Then he faced you when I had extended, just wanted to say thanks boss for everything, and he just again convinced you to stay. If you have asked last week, maybe, but this last job cleared any doubts I had. I've survived this long, but I can be a fool to press my luck any further. Fair enough, friend, we'll always have a place for you if you change your mind. I bet he's gonna die. <laughs> you hear a shout and turn to see Eric stepping towards you, his young nephew in tow. Sorry to interrupt, but Gedrick here wanted to see you off. Is that so? I know we haven't finished your training, but your uncle's more than capable of finishing your job. I know that. I'm going to miss you though. Van grins, reaching out his tussle. Reaching out to tussle the boy's heart, and I you. Of half mind send him with you, less danger on, on a farm, and gods know your old bones could use to help. Ah, there's a few good years in me yet, but you're both welcome to visit any time. I best get going then, take care of yourselves, would you? The pharaoh now he turns towards his horse, and off he goes. Company won't be the same without him, I'm afraid. Indeed he won't. And Zirik and Tori take their leave, you look around the camp surveying the aftermath of the night celebrations. With days of travel, blah blah blah. Okay, let's just go. Mm. You both upright from your sleep, awakened by the blares of a horn from somewhere in your camp. Okay, being ambushed or something. So we're under attack. There's no warning. The horses, the carriages. Everything's been taken. We need to regroup with the others. Have you seen Eric? Couldn't find him with his nephew, I hope. You made a lot of eyes and not agreement. Let's move, stay close. So you emerge from your tent, kind of swivel. The camp is almost entirely ablaze. Make your way ahead. 
One of your companions dead. Leave me, it'll be no use in a fight. Valaric has been hit. Let's collapse and fall to the ground. You turn and continue onward, staying low to the ground as you move, eyes still scanning for any friendly faces through the smoke. A man jumps in front of you with frenzied eyes and a dagger in his hand. He lunges clumsily forward and you sidestep the thrust, raising your sword high and slashing down between his neck and shoulder, the blade cutting deep. The man falls to the ground, blah blah blah. Not 50 yards ahead, you spot three of your companions through the haze, battle together with weapons dry. Okay. Can we fight? Surrounded, Sigbert's head whips around, searching frantically for any possible escape as the riders edge closer. What are you waiting for, Torin? Help us! Alright, let's go. Eri! Sigbert glares at Torin with wild fear in his eyes. Their eyes. You damn traitors, have you no honor? They've been betrayed. Honor achieves little in this world. I trust your luck and handle the rest. Spare no one. Torrents betray them. So... It's three of us against six of them. Okay. Matilda is a healer. Hmm. Less shields. Or if we wanted to move, yeah, we can't reach anyone. So let's just shield here. So how come he can come to me, but I can't go to them? He couldn't reach. He could reach me. I couldn't reach them. Shielded, nice. So let's go here and let's see if we can push him aside. He will take some damage there. And he's on the mud. Hmm. He's on the mud, yeah. Alright, and you. Tall grass lowers your accuracy but increases evasion. Moving through tall grass allows you to. To avoid all attacks of opportunity. Okay. Um, just attack. And she... Attack him as well. Yeah. Right leg laceration. Oh, my gosh. They do take a beating, don't they? Um. Fist of Fury. I have to stay here, because otherwise I'm going to take an attack of opportunity. So just attack him, I guess. And you're gonna move behind this guy. Okay, he's dead anyway. You have to heal now. Hmm. That's the flanked attack. Okay. Damn. Ah, it's always the archers. I just hate archers. Um, so let's change positions. And I'm gonna attack this guy like this. So he's flanked, I guess. Not that much more. Uh, let's change positions here. Okay.
And I think we can do um I have two five I'm not gonna kill him. But fine. Just taking that laceration attack. I don't do I have any I don't have any bandages, I don't think. Mm. Okay, let's push them away like this. Alright, they're all around him. Um, let's go here and we do this. It's gonna take some extra damage, I guess. Not that much, really. But can we heal this guy? She's gonna die now, anyway. Single target range. Maybe we can... Well, let's heal. Yeah. Doesn't matter. This is all messed up. Um, so let's move behind him, I guess, and do this. Now, if I move here, it's going to take an attack of opportunity, so we can do this, I guess. Okay. Just sharpening her blade. Of course. So you're the only hope. There's three of them and one of me. Eh, maybe we can do this. If we go here and then we do this whirlwind kick, maybe one is dead. Yeah. All the enemies, they really go behind you every single time. Okay, that defeated. God, it's really brutal. Betrayed and broken. Opening your eyes, you find yourself sprawled on the ground with a mouthful of dirt and a throbbing ache in your head. Despite the ringing in your ears, you can hear a muffled voice calling out. A hand grips your shoulder. Easy now. You exhale with relief at the sight of Yurik leaning over you. The early morning light. Shining upon his blood splattered face and garments, he straightens up and you grab hold of his extended arm. Not much left is there, the bastards took everything. It was Torin, sir, he betrayed us. Torin, are you sure? Wasn't alone either. Demon, Inus, Naira, all fucking traitors. Where's Gedrick? Yuri glances down, slowly shaking his head. Don't know for certain, but I fear he's dead. I was with him and the attack started, but we ran into trouble. Told the boy to run, but... Don't remember my child, I'm afraid. Woke up to Alar Alaric, dragging me out from under a pile of bodies. Alaric's alive? Are there any others? Aye, he's alive. Managed to find a place to hide and patch himself up. I told him to stay off his feet. But he's, but he's out there limping around, trying to salvage what he can. There's no one else, I'm afraid. We turn to see Alaric emerging from a half-burned tent. God, I'm glad to see you, sir. Have you shared the news? I did. I found some correspondence in one of their tents. The traitorous bastards have been planning this for months, it seems. Any idea who they're working with? I'm afraid not. Certainly more than just a ragtag group of thieves. They were too well-armed and too well-organized. A group of cowards, I say. 
easy to achieve victory when half the troops passed out drunk. No doubt Torin and them were counting on that fact, the spineless pricks. I can hardly stomach the notion, but could Van have been involved? Not a chance, I know he and Torin got on well enough, but the man's as loyal as they come. I'm just glad he wasn't here for this, we've lost too much already. Regardless of who's involved, there's little we can do about it, at least for now. So what's our plan, boss? You know I'll follow you anywhere, but I promised my sister I'd look after Gendrick. If he's somehow alive, I need to find him. Us putting those traitors into the ground will help to suffice. The boss is right, but with little choice in the matter, I understand you want vengeance, so do I, but we haven't, haven't the manpower. If we're going to do this, we'll need to first restore our numbers. Right then, we best travel light. As our caravan travels through the world, throughout the world, time will progress. You can also advance to the next day by pressing C. Supplies in general upkeep can be expensive and every day that passes will cost us coin. Given the situation, we can't afford a long journey. We should make our way to the city of Andalan to rest and regroup. That's uh, reading heavy, isn't it? Critical injuries, Eric Redwater needs to immediately seek treatment for their critical injuries. If you don't treat these injuries, they will get worse. Some injuries can lead to death if left untreated. Let's get some them some help immediately. To go to Andalan. Uh, 